In this video, I'm going to show you the Form Mule Google Sheets add-on. With Form Mule, you can actually do a mail merge with a Google Sheet. And what I would suggest uh, you use this for is when you have a an evaluation form that you're using that's done in Google Forms. For example, this is a Google Form uh, walkthrough evaluation. I want my teachers to get a copy of the data that I have collected. With Formule, you can actually set it up so that when you submit this form, a copy of this data goes directly to your teacher. Formule is an add-on for Google Sheets. It would need to be installed in your Google Sheet that is associated with this form. So this is my walkthrough form I've, uh, that I've already set up. This is the information that I'm collecting when I am in the classroom. And this is the information that I want the teachers to get a copy of. When you create your Google Form for this walkthrough, you need to be sure that one of the questions is teacher email. Um, you'll need that in order to send the uh, data to them. So collect their e so have a form question for their email address. And then here is the spreadsheet that I have that's associated with this form. You can see I've already done one teacher evaluation and that data is ready to be sent to that teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and install the Form Mule add-on. And to do that, you're going to go to Add-ons. And um, if you don't already have it installed, you'll go down to Get Add-ons. And you will search through the gallery and look for Form Mule. You can either just type it in right here or you can actually just search through the gallery and look for Form Mule. Um, but you need to install the Form Mule add-on. Since I already have it installed, I'm going to go to Add-ons and Form Mule. You'll only need to do this one time. Once you install Form Mule in one spreadsheet, it will be available from the Add-ons menu in your additional spreadsheets. So the first time you're going to need to launch it to set it up. It will do some work behind the scenes, getting it ready to uh, collect your data. The Form Mule is actually a mail merge. And um, with this utility, we need to do a few things to set it up to work. So the first thing we need to do is choose the source data. So we're going to say our source data is in our spreadsheet, and it's in sheet the called Form Responses 1. So we'll select that. There's two ways that you can run Form Mule. You can run it manually where you would have to come in and tell it to send the email. What I really like is that you can actually set it up to send on the form submit. So as soon as you're done with the evaluation and you hit submit, the email will be sent to the teachers. These other triggers we're going to leave um, empty for right now. We'll go ahead and say next, templates, and send conditions. One of the things that I like about Formule is that you can actually set up multiple templates to be sent uh, depending on certain conditions. So you could have one template to send when um, you need to schedule a meeting with the teachers, and you could have another template to send when you don't need to schedule a meeting with the teachers. So you can actually have multiple templates tied to the same um, Formule merge. We're just going to go ahead and set up one simple email and we're going to call it template1, and we're going to send it for all rows. Now we can actually set it up so that it runs on a specific condition, so when there's a zero in a cell, when it has information in the cell, or we can even set it up to run when there's a specific number or text value in the cell. But to make it simple, we're just going to send the same um, template no matter what is in each of the cells. So we'll go ahead and save the template settings. and we'll go next edit the template. Now here is where you're going to build your email that you want to send to the teachers. And what this is doing is it's gathering the data or the headings, the column headings from your spreadsheet. And you, those are called merge tags. So these are the column headings that are in your spreadsheet. And you can add any of this data to your email. So anything that has an asterisk with it is required. So who do we want this email to be sent to? Well, in your form, you should have included a field to for the teacher email address. And remember, that was just a simple drop-down selection in our uh, form. So it, and, and the cell that it's in is teacher email. So I'm going to go ahead and add that there. So this will pull the teacher email from that particular cell and send it to that teacher. CC and BCC are both optional. Reply to, I would go ahead and fill that in with your email address. So in case they wanted to reply and set, set up that meeting, it would easily, simply, quickly and easily go to your email address. The subject is required, so something like walk through evaluation results. Um, so you have to have a subject in there. Now the body is what you're going to put in the email. So you might start off with something like, thank you for allowing me to observe your classroom. And you can pull any of this information from the spreadsheet and have that customized in this email. So I've started my email. and 
now I'm ready to bring in a merge tag. So I, I said I was in your classroom on, and I'm going to use the timestamp, which again is when the form was submitted, to indicate to the teacher so that they remember what time and date that I was in their classroom. So I'm going to simply click on timestamp, and that's going to add that to that uh, message. So I can leave this as it is, or if I want to erase the timestamp part of it and just have the information from the spreadsheet fill in, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue um, adding information to my email. So I'm now ready to add the observation elements for, uh, from this observation. So I'm going to just go through to my merge tags here, and I'm going to add each one. I want to add the teaching strategies. I want to add the instructional strategies that I observed. I want to add all of the um, domains that I was evaluating, and I'm just hitting enter after each one and adding those um, columns, that data in there. And what will happen is that the when Formule runs, it will actually go through and pull that data from that column in the spreadsheet. So I've added all of the data that I collected, and I can actually go up here and say preview this, and it will show me what that email is going to look like. So it's going to give this heading, and then it's going to give the information that I added on the form. And you can actually see that because I had already done an evaluation, and it's pulling in that information. So here are the things that I selected, lecture, direct instruction. This was a checkbox. Here was another checkbox. Here's one where I filled in some information, met at the door, greeted each student by name. And so that's what the email is going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and say preview and send all. And because we already have one collected, it will automatically send this email to this teacher. Again, here is the preview. This is what it will look like. And we'll go if we want to make changes, we can click edit template. We're ready to go ahead and send it now. So it will go ahead and send that information. If we look here on our spreadsheet, you'll notice the very last column, it has added a new column, and it is, is giving you the send status, um, when it was the email was sent and who it was sent to. Now I'm going to switch over to this test teacher account so that we can see this email. And here is the email, the walkthrough evaluation results as I set it up. We'll go ahead and open up that email, and this is what the teacher would get. I was in your classroom on, it gives a date, um, pulls that in from the spreadsheet. These are the things that I observed, and here is what I evaluated that teacher on. Meet to review results, and I selected not at this time for this particular teacher. So Formule allows you to quickly and easily send feedback to teachers based on a, a evaluation result. It automatically will run, so the next time I would do a walkthrough evaluation, because I've set Formule up, that email will automatically be generated and sent to that teacher when I submit the form.